some sugar? <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not dead, <laughs> <anyway. laughs> I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella coming <clears throat> right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a town, I think, to speak to the law. That has to be crap. It ain't worth the risk. He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet! <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. <laughs> Finally! Put his weapons over there! Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Say nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. But see, we lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you.
Chucha, oh. I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. <laughs> My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Good evening. 
it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know. A respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I have none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters, but you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Once again, who's underneath? Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Hey there! Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, 
Go make us some new friends. We're gonna find out old Cornwall. What's his name? Milton. 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 Good evening, sir. Get me a bloody drink, will you? Evening, folks. Oh, the world. The Oh, you're not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. No, I am quite that much of a Philistine. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> I tried both. You know, faster than marriage. They've been married about. Evening, you walking away from history. Bonjour, Monsieur. Oh. Women and men both deserve to decide the future. Well, McClare, where ever did you get that? Hello, sir. Oh, you. Good evening. <laughs> Good day, sir. Oh, Hello. Try. Hello there. Mostly I fail, but I try. <laughs> How's it going? Just fine, thank you. Burying your head in the Good. Well, all the best now. Nice to meet the boat. Take care. New suit? Yeah. yeah. I mean, no. uh, Evening and all? It's a new shirt. Sir. It's not my fault. Yes. I come from the west. I mean, the north. The, the, the northwest. Uh, How was the show? I heard you went. Evening, <laughs> gentlemen. These dances, well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, how's things? I hope you're having a Cannot fine complain. evening. Uh, Mr. Mayor, would you like to get some? What? Axel here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land, and that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, who off? Hello. End of me. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, god damn it. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can redraw the part. Oh, how do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! 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 My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what.
Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight! Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people. 
torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Uh. 